Pokemon Tattoo here again. Um, it's still the same day as the video I posted up early on this morning when I was out on my way out. Um, so I'm back after doing some shopping in London. I actually went to Camden today. Um, and first of all, I just wanted to show you that my hair is still more or less looking the same as it was this morning. No shrinkage, um, and the style seemed to hold its own. So, oops, sorry, I'll just show you. Hopefully, that is um, clear. I'm just trying to see from the camera view at the back whether it's actually capturing what I want it to capture. Um, but as you can see, it more or less kept the same hairstyle. I actually took out the clip I was wearing this morning and just put a different slide in. Um, I actually prefer the um, hair accessories with the little clip attachment rather than hair slides. Um, I'll show you an example of some of the hair slides I've got. Um, I prefer the clip ones to the slide ones. I find that personally for me, they seem to stay in my hair a lot better and they seem to hold the style as well. Like if I gather a bit up at the side and pull it up, it seems to hold it more secure than if I faff about with slides and Kobe grips and that sort of thing. But again, each to their own. I guess it's best for you to just experiment with the accessories you have and just find out what works best for your hair. Um, so I'll just show you what I bought today in Camden first of all. Um, I did get some clothes from H&M and from some of the markets in Camden. Um, if you have a, look, a little look on YouTube, maybe put Camden London in the search engine, you'll see probably quite a lot of videos. Um, I know a few naturals have also put videos of what they've bought in Camden or even when they've been out and about in Camden. Um, I decided not to do any filming in Camden today. I've noticed a lot of the stores have got like no filming, no pictures please on their stores. So I thought I'd better not, I didn't want to get in trouble. Um, but I know a few of you have managed to do it, sneakily do it and put them on. So definitely check them out because they're really good. So let me just show you the hair accessories I bought. I think I'll just keep this to hair rather than stuffing about with the clothes and stuff. Um, no offence to anyone who does do YouTube videos about their style. They're really inspiring and I love watching them. Um, there's another one by um, a sheet on here um, that I've been watching and I've been following religiously. She's really funny but actually her thrift ideas are really excellent. She really knows how to throw an outfit together and make it look effortless for little to no money at all. So well done to her. But um, I'll just stick to just the hair accessories for today. So um, one of the hair accessories that I bought in Camden previously is the one that I had in my hair this morning. Um, hopefully you can see that there. And it's got the little clip attachment that I really like on the back. Um, this cost 49p in one of the market stores in Camden. Sorry, I just dropped the rest of them. Oh, come on, it's killing me holding this camera. So, I actually went back today and I bought a whole load more. So, I've actually just put them on like an elastic hair band just so I could show them all to you a lot easier without having to stop and pick them up. So here are all the different styles and different colours that I've bought today with lots of different outfits, navy ones, polka dot ones, um, I've bought leopard print ones as well, floral, uh, pastel coloured ones, sort of plain block colours like the red one. Um, and the blue one there. I um, also got black, classic black. Um, but yeah, these are really beautiful. They look really lovely in um, natural hair if you do like a braid out, twist out, or a puff. Um, sort of like, like I had this morning, just sort of clip it into the side or pull up some of the hair and just, just clip it wherever you, you see fit, really. Um, it's a really nice, simple way to accessorise your hair. Um, and they're really cheap, really cheap. Um, also, I bought some of these hair bands. Um, 
looking forward to wearing these when I get a bit more length. Um, but this is the hairband here. So you would actually sort of stretch it out, put it over your head and use it to sort of scrape your hair back. Um, yeah, that's how you would wear those ones. So here is a selection of those. Um, gather the other ones. Um, here's lots of different styles. I really love the fabrics that were used as well to make these. They're quite vintage and some of the designs are quite ethnic looking as well, which I really love. Oh, that's what hands are. Are you kidding me? Um, also, I bought, I know these have been in fashion lately, sort of the wire hair bands that actually have the fabric um, twisted around them. So basically what you would do is wrap them around your head um, and fasten them at the top. Let me just pop this camera down for one minute just so I can show you what it would look like in my hair. Um, So basically what you would do is maybe just wrap it round your head, I don't know if you can see that, hopefully you can. Um, and it's actually got wire on the inside, so it's just really easy to just pop it in, secure it and then you can just bend the ends and as it's wire it stays exactly where you want it to. Sorry it doesn't look um, perfect, this is just for demonstration really just to sort of show you how you can put these in. Um, if you put your hair back, you can just pop it in. Or if you've got your hair out like this, you can put one in. And um, just sort of twist the, the wire around a few times to secure it in place. And, you know, fashion the ends as, as you want to do it. And they're really easy to come out as well. So I, I really like these. Um, again, these were just 99p each. And the ethnic ethnic hair bands were 89p each so you know I really splashed out on those really stocked up on them before they all sold out and so I have a really nice collection for when I get a little bit more length and can do a little bit more with my hair um, so that was the accessories that I got for my hair today in Camden um, just wanted to show you some of the products that I'm using now that I'm at my three months mark um, I still do use my spray leave-in conditioner. In here I put actually water, a mixture of oils, um, extra virgin olive oil, um, castor oil, peppermint, lavender and tea tree oil. Just a few drops of each. Um, another addition I've added to this is actually some aloe vera gel that I bought from Holland and Barrett. I literally just squirt a bit in there. So as you can see, when I've shaken it up, it almost looks like an emulsion. And I actually use this to spray in my hair, and I feel it really has made a difference. My hair does feel really soft. Um, definitely makes it feel nice and soft and bouncy. Um, obviously, I don't use it when I've styled this, otherwise I'd get a lot of shrinkage. But when I've washed and deep conditioned my hair, and either I'm going to do twists, that I'm going to keep in or if I'm going to do a braid out I'll spray that in before I do the braid and then leave it overnight um, this is the aloe vera gel that I actually put in there um, that's the one I got from Holland and Barrett aloe vera gel 99.9% um, I think it's got a couple of other little bits in there preservatives but it's mainly aloe vera but yeah it's really good and they're always doing offers in Holland and Barrett on these the aloe vera juice and lots of different vitamins either like a one penny sale buy one get one for a penny or buy one get one free or half price so definitely look out for the offers and if you're thinking of trying some of these things out then those offer times would be a good time to try them out at a fraction of the cost um, some of the conditioner I use for my deep conditioning and also for my co-wash is the Tresemme Naturals range. Um, I think I did show this to you in a Hi, 
Hi YouTube, um, slight technical glitch, a bit of deja vu here, I'm sure that happened before when my battery ran out again, but anyway. Um, I was talking to you about the conditioners I use in my deep conditioning treatments, and one of the ones is the Tresemme Naturals range. Um, I've got the Vibrantly Smooth Conditioner, which is I think the one that I showed you the first time round which is really good. Um, it contains coconut oil and jojoba, um, hypoallergenic, no added colour, and I'm sure I've read on here before that it's gentle enough to use on colour treated hair, which is perfect for me because obviously I colour my hair, so that's a really good one to use. Um, since I was last on YouTube, I did manage to get the Nourishing Moisture version of the Naturals Conditioners as well, because it's been on offer again, so I usually get them when they're buy one, get one free. And, you know, I've still got pretty much practically the whole thing left. It lasts for absolutely ages, and I deep condition it every week, so that's saying something. Um, the Nourishing Conditioner has aloe vera and avocado oil in it. Um, so another two really good ingredients and this is also good enough for colour treated hair. I haven't bothered to get the shampoos, um, I've only bothered to get the conditioners. Reason being I'm happy with the shampoos that I'm using at the moment which are um, Dudu Osun, Black Soap and also I use a coconut soap from Lush, um, which is working really well for my hair. Um, another product that I actually mix into my deep conditioners is Motion's CPR, um, Critical Protection and Repair Treatment Conditioner. Um, I'm just going to swap hands. Um, yeah, I mean, this is one product that I used to use religiously when I was nat um, not even natural, when I was relaxed. Um, I used to use this every week without fail and I found it made my hair really strong. It really does what it says on the tin, it reduces breakage even after the first application. So I thought this would be something that would be good for natural hair as well to prevent breakage um, and you know to rebuild and repair and to keep the hair nice and strong so I've decided to continue using this as one of the very few products that I use now that I'm natural that I used to use when I was relaxed um, so far so good it's working really well um, you know what I do is just mix a dollop of that in with some of the naturals conditioner, just mix them together. Sometimes I add some oils in there as well, like maybe castor oil or olive oil, um, and then I just leave that on my hair for an hour or so, and then rinse it out and just style, style as usual. Another thing I've noticed as well, now that my hair is starting to get a little bit longer, I find that the ends start to get a little bit drier. Um, so what I tend to do now is sleep with a shower cap on, which is something I think I used to do when I had a really small TWA. Um, that worked really well, so I'm going to continue doing that because I did stop sort of in between for a little while. Um, and I've also started doing what's called a pre-poo, which is where you saturate your hair with oils for a little while before you actually shampoo the hair. The oil I'm using at the moment is extra virgin olive oil, um, and I mix that with peppermint oil, um, and sometimes a little bit of rosemary and tea tree as well to help with the scalp, because it does itch a little bit sometimes. So that's pretty much what I'm using at the moment. The rest of the products are still the same as what I was using before. My shea butter mix, this is almost finished now, I don't know if you can see that, I've just put it in an old container, um, but this is working wonders, my hair really loves this, it's a mixture of shea butter, um, a little bit of coconut oil, um, what else do I put in here, extra virgin olive oil, peppermint, lavender, rosemary, all pre-blended with sweet almond oil, 
and I think the last time I made some of this I added some aloe vera gel as well just a small amount just to soften it up a little bit um, but I use this daily when I'm re braiding my hair before I sleep and also after I've done my wash and deep condition and I first braid it for my braid out or twist it I put some of this in it and it really does help to soften the moisturise sealing the moisture makes my hair really soft and nourished and it smells divine because of the peppermint oils the lavender oil I always get really nice compliments on how nice my hair smells um, and I'm one of those people who really thinks it's important to have really nice smelling hair as well as clean conditioned and healthy hair so um, that's about it really those are the products that I use oh another one as well when I'm doing my twists um, when I did my previous video and you've seen the twists that I had in my hair that I'll leave them for a week to two weeks at a time I actually use some of this which is organic no, organic root stimulator lock and twist gel um, so I've been using this again it's practically full but I only use a really tiny amount on, on, on my hair to twist it and also when I would refresh my hair in the morning I would just rub a little bit of this through retwist any of the twists that were coming out and and it you know it worked really well it's got coconut milk in it which I think is a really nice um, ingredient and something that I would like to continue to use in the future or not even continue but just try out um, in a deep conditioner some coconut milk and also I'd like to use some fresh avocado as well like mash that up and I've seen a few naturals using that including um, Queen of Sheba 66 and um, some of you American naturals as well have used this in your conditioning recipes so I mean there's loads and loads that I want to try out and I'll sort of systematically do it as I go along um, and I'll come back on here and let you guys know how it all went but yeah that's about it for today so I've talked to you a little bit about my three months journey showed you some of the products I'm using now and some of the accessories I'm using so hopefully that's given you a little bit of inspiration um, please rate comment and subscribe thank you to all the subscribers who have subscribed to me so far and all the comments so far much appreciated um, and it just helps me along with my journey all the encouragement and the love is just wonderful um, so let's keep it up girls um, and guys if any of you are out there watching and I will come back to you soon so take care bye